Good evening and hello from the Paley Center for Media in Los Angeles to all of you joining us on Yahoo's screen. I'm Rene Reyes, Director of Programs here, and I am in a room full of fans. Let's hear it, fans. Great. We're all here to celebrate the first scripted series from Disney Channel ever to be honored at Paley Center. We are thrilled to welcome the gifted ensemble cast and creative team of Austin and Alley. Before we get started, I want to take a moment to thank Yahoo, our official media sponsor, for all their support of these events. Uh, there's lots of people watching us on this live stream right now, and you'll be able to watch this panel um, on demand at Yahoo's screen after the fact as well, so please check it out. We also want to thank the good folks at Disney Channel for all their support and help in making tonight possible. Thank you, Disney Channel. And now to begin our program, it's my pleasure to welcome tonight's host and moderator. She covers all facets of the TV business for one of our favorite publications, Variety. Please give a big Paley Center welcome to Elizabeth Wagmeister. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. We have a very exciting panel tonight. So let's bring out the cast and creators. First, Calum Worthy, who plays Dez. <laughs> Next, <laughs> hey, Caleb. Next, we have Rainy Rodriguez, who plays Trish De La Rosa. <laughs> Feeling there's going to be a lot of selfies tonight, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next, Ross Lynch, who plays Austin Moon. Morano, who plays Allie Dawson. And last but certainly not least, the co-creators and, exec and executive producers, Kevin Coppola and Heath Seifert. Thanks for having us. Thank you and for having us. Thanks for um, all the fans and everyone who is tuning in via Yahoo screen. So, very exciting panel tonight. Woo! Yeah, the fans. Yeah. Woo! Now, everyone's very excited, but also, you guys are wrapping up four seasons. What? We're done. I know. Oh. Breaking news, guys. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Just yeah. 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 Take so, these on them. <laughs> a little birdie told me that the final day on set was very, very sad. There were a lot of tears. So first of all, let's just break the ice. Who cried the last day on set? Ross. Oh. <laughs> um, Caleb, I was really. Caleb, Caleb cried a lot, actually. Caleb saw. I had something else going on that day. There was no, there was no. <laughs> I just had something in my mind. So, um, three days prior to the last day, we, Rainy, Caleb went to my room, and Caleb <laughs> grabbed a very large roll of toilet paper, and we all just cried. There was a lot of tears. And then they text me, like, 30 minutes later, <laughs> and I was late for the ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. We were too I'm emotional to be like, Ross, come to the room. <laughs> and I showed up, and I was like, aw. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're done with the tear. Yeah. I think we wrapped late every day the last like three weeks because everybody was crying and you know getting out of the dressing rooms and getting on the set or getting through a scene uh, were pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. We were walking down the hall and we just go by offices and people are just in there sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> We'd hear like so whimpering. It is sad. Yeah. We were planning our um, crew gift for everybody and we kind of needed some members of the crew's help. With yeah. The crew gift. Awkwardly, like our, without trying our... to tell them what the gift was that we were giving I know. them. We're like, we need your help. We're not going to tell you. So we needed our prop person and our set decorator and. We go to her office, and we like we never go to her office. No, that's kind of weird. And so she's like, "What are you doing here?" And we're like, "Oh, nothing much. We just need information really <laughs> awkwardly." And then she's like, "Well, while you're here, I just want to let you know that you guys have been the best cast we've ever worked with." And starts crying. And then I'm like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna start crying too." And then, and then I started, started crying, crying, and then we were just saying, "We didn't get the information. We didn't get anything done. done. We were like, of course not. We, me and Kayla were in the dressing room. <laughs> 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 oh, no, yeah, she was crying. I tried. Yeah." <laughs> We got a really good <laughs> on the group chats there. 
Okay, well, what will you guys miss most about the show? This question's for everyone. Nothing much. No, <laughs> no um, honestly, I'm going to miss, like, these laughs right yeah. here. I'm going to miss every, All of us. Uh, every, and a lot of people here as well. A lot We've, of our Austin Alley families so in the fun. audience right now, too. Woo, we love wow. you guys. It's so, been a lot of fun. Yeah, we miss e we'll miss each other. Mm -hmm. Like, seeing each other every day. It's different than seeing each other, like, once every other week or, you know, every other two weeks or trying to get together all together at one time because, you know, some of us are going to be touring and, like, filming stuff and working on other things. Yeah. So, it's like, so, like, <laughs> so, like, trying to get every week together will be hard. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, but we'll miss each other seeing each other every day. When yeah. we were shooting the last scenes, it was always like, okay, but you know what? I'm going to see you Sunday at the wrap party. And then we're at the wrap party. And it's like, well, I'm going to see you at the Paley Center. Oh, and, then yeah. and now it's like, And now this uh -oh. is kind of it. So we might start crying. Oh, I guess I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss the characters, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, they might be going away, but at least these guys will still be around. But yeah, I mean, that was something yeah. Caleb actually brought up the three days prior when we were all crying in my room. Um, he was <laughs> like, and I hadn't even thought about it. He was like, I'm going to miss playing Dez. And I'm like... Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna miss playing Allie. I didn't even realize that. Like, these are characters that we've grown up with that, mm -hmm. you know, I think have paralleled some aspects of our lives, have, you know, we've had really a lot of fun with them. And the fact that we're done playing them is really tough, I mm -hmm. think, to grasp. It's just a weird thing to grasp. Mm -hmm. What have you each learned from your characters? Caleb? <laughs> 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 Nice. Well, I'm a very serious person, and Des is very crazy. Oh, so that's, <laughs> that's brought a lot out of me. Uh, well, he actually is. Like, yeah. Caleb <laughs> <Kayla. laughs> knows more about politics the, I don't think than can spell anyone else that. <laughs> about American he politics. Yeah. And he's Canadian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really just going to miss playing Des because he had, he had such a cool character and there's so much range to him and uh, Disney was so cool and Kevin Heath was so cool about developing this amazing character that I'm, I'm really going to be sad not to play. And the suspenders, so I'm going to miss that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss all the crazy costumes that she has and like the guess who got a job lines. I'm going to miss those a lot. Um, <laughs> what I learned from her though is to, uh, how to not get fired. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to keep a job now, thanks to Trish. <laughs> I've learned like 500 different ways. Um, Austin always seemed to have a good outlook on everything, and uh, he seemed to be a pretty positive person. And so, no, honestly, like that was like a good thing to kind of learn from is just to kind of be in the moment and like always enjoy your time, kind of thing. Um, and then, obviously, a big part of my character was performing. So I'm gonna miss doing the dance numbers and stuff because I, when I perform, like I'm not always like having background dancers and stuff. But that was always pretty fun when we got to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think Ali, for me, has kind of mirrored some aspects of my life, with, especially she's had such an, a, a really cool arc where she, you know, started first season so scared of everything, and second season she got a little more fearless, and third season she's, like, pursuing music, and fourth season she's like, whoa, what's up, I'm touring. <laughs> um, you know, she's, <laughs> she's really... Just a, a really fun, extraordinary character that I think you guys wrote, and I love how quirky she is and awkward. And I don't know if that was my influence because I'm really, like, and really awkward. It but was definitely a little bit of that. <laughs> it was. It was, it was sure. funny because um, I saw us. You know, I saw something on a long time ago on Friends where the characters on Friends said we thought the writers were bugging our rooms because we would say something in our rooms and then and then it would happen in the we episodes were. and I felt the same way about us. Yeah. Like, we would do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would say yeah, something. Yeah, season three ended of Austin going on tour and I was going on tour. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, <laughs> or like, no. or like, we, or like we would say all. things like certain jokes or certain, or like, like, <laughs> like a boob, like we, okay, so like there's a thing that we do sometimes before like everything, we just did it before we came out here, we boop. So we all put our fingers in should and we, we like, them? we should. Okay, so this is what we do basically. Okay. So we all put our fingers in. You guys go, you know the act, it's quite strange. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, this is, I don't know if you guys can yeah, reach. Okay, Laura, just connect. Person. So we like, we put, and then we connect <laughs> with our eyes and we're like, boop. The objective yeah. is to feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So you can feel comfortable in every other scenario. Basically, Our crew it works out. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, so, and so we would do that all the time. And then one time during one the episode, episode. It, it made it in. It was, it was how people said hello in the future. They were like, boom, and then they moved on. And we're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We do that. Oh, and then in certain episodes, like, uh, we had one... Um, we're like we'll mention certain crew member uh, crew members names. Yeah, like, like our Casey camera guys. Moore, Wind on those fans. It's just like subtleties <laughs> like that are really fun. And one time, um, I had a whole period of my life in second season where I like to show the cast an impression of me being a turkey. And <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And, made it. and in like the next episode, Austin said something about like drawing a hand turkey, like in a yeah. lab, and we were like, yeah. Oh. yeah. 
Wow. It's weird. Art imitating life. Right? See, you only much. need to ask one question. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. No. We can talk we for hours. We can talk for hours. hours. Sorry. Next question, very important, though. So, oh. I mean, you guys have wrapped, but we still go through January, which is really exciting. Yes. But after that, you know I'm going to ask this. Any chance for an Austin and Alley movie? We were all I, I mean. <laughs> I'm looking at a few people in the crowd. Yeah, we're yeah, looking at some me. of the busy people in the crowd. <laughs> We personally would love to do one. Any chance we get to work together again, all of us, you know, all six of us up here and, and getting to play our characters again anytime, we would so jump at the chance to do that. And I think, you know, just for our characters, like, motivation speaking, I think it would take place in maybe Italy or England. <laughs> yeah. Hawaii. Um, like, we uh, should try Hawaii. somewhere yeah. else. It, yeah. it would actually we have be a couple treatments Hollywood that we'll get to like send to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. For sure. Like, just... <laughs> Somewhere nice and big. But not Maybe the movie the can table. take like a year. We, we a definitely lot of have fun. ideas if anybody Trilogy? wants. Yeah? Trilogy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like that idea. Uh, oh, I'm very. It's open. my dream is to work with them again. So. Yes. <laughs> and I, you know what? I'm very confident that that will happen. It'll happen. Whether if it's like just me and Rainy, or if it's just me and Laura, or you know, the girls, or not. Uh, Kaylin, we have something to tell you. Wait till you see the, you see the no. finale, um, then you'll understand why we don't include you. Uh, oh, no, but wait, I wait, don't wait, think. Wait. Wait. Like, maybe Spoiler someday, alert. you know, uh, Kevin and Heath will have a show, and they'll be like, hey, we need a blonde kid. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I'm your guy. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not blonde anymore. We're like, oh, well. Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> But I think that's rare in a casting crew where, like, we finish a show and we're all like, let's work together again. Yeah. Like, let's yeah. work together and we all just want to keep it going. Yeah, we I'd say we still get together every, like, we'll yeah. just shoot something once yeah. a week. Yeah. yeah. Just read scripts. We'll just talk phones. to, like, audience members all, <laughs> every week. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very evident that you guys are going to post the cast on the Disney Channel, for sure. How are you going to celebrate in January when you go off the air? Oh, well, I think we're gonna, we are we'll definitely going to have a party. We're going to start now. Yeah. Party all the way through. We'll probably do, like, a, like, a, season finale viewing party at Heath's house. That's what we do every year. <laughs> so we'll do something like that and just any chance we all get to just hang out together, we'll probably do. I think so watch it. really special is like we started like really loving each other day one and we kept like loving each other last day. So I think like that was the thing. Like the last day we were like, ah, no. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was. Yeah. And I think the biggest reason why that happened is because like everybody on the stage, like all they're just, we're all so close because we're, I think, especially like, yeah, I think we're especially people. Yeah, and I think especially Kevin no, like, no, like oh, Kevin and Keith, like, like I look up to them. Leaders. Yeah, they're, they're amazing so, people. Such good go on, reading off the go job on. prompter up there. And I think, I just say, yeah, I just want to you. Lower. Can you make it bigger? I, I can't I see what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're we're really lucky to have a cast that's mm -hmm. really grounded and has good hearts, and, mm -hmm. and you know we've been doing this for a long time, me and Kevin, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think w from that we know just ha what a special cast and crew that we have. Mm -hmm. We knew that this was lightning in a bottle Aww. and uh, a once in a lifetime thing, and that's why so cool. we me cherish too. it every day. <laughs> me too. Uh oh, they're gonna cry. <laughs> Three uh, of these guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you remember back to the casting process, uh, if yes. you remember back to the casting process, what was it about <laughs> these four guys that you knew would make the perfect ensemble? How I don't even know why I got the job. How weird we were. <laughs> <laughs> Loudest, wait, let me just say this really fast. Loudest holding room ever. ever right, sure. And you were the quietest one in the whole yeah, room. Yeah, was, you were like in the corner like, I'm Ross Lynch, I'm 16, I'm playing a guitar, I'm really quiet. <laughs> you were like so quiet. I was actually 14. Oh, 14, sorry. Yeah, were you? No, you 14. were 15. I thought no, you were 15. No, because, no, no, because when we auditioned, it was She was there. No. It was, That's your mother. It was, it was the beginning of December, and I turned 16 December 29th. Trust me, guys. Mm -hmm. I, I was wiser. I was 15. I was Yeah. Old. Oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, sorry, I didn't mean to say like. No, no, no that's okay. okay. I do remember that when Laura came in, I looked at her headshot and that we had the same birthday. Oh, and I was like, I don't even yeah. care if she can yeah. act. She right? I, I, I've, been, yeah. I've been lying this whole time. I just what? really wanted the job. Yeah. You, have, you have like 365 yeah. different headshots. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I do a lot of research. You you yeah. Yeah. I gave Kevin one with another birthday. <laughs> yeah. with my birthday. You know, we were looking for a specific. We had something in our head, and when each one of them came in, they fit the bill. It was mm -hmm. just... 
like we said, lightning in a bottle, but Laura came in. We were looking for, like, a Tina Fey that could also sing. I mean, good luck, yes. right? <laughs> and we found her. And then... I remember and, we wrote this ridiculous uh, monologue. It was, like, it was a scene, but, in the, but there was this middle part of the scene that went on for, like, a page and a half. <laughs> and I think it was you just listening everything you hated. Yeah. Or, and like, I'm not, your it, made, it made a later episode, I think. Like, it didn't Parts make the, of it, yeah. The, yeah. the pilot. But, yeah, it was, like, very large. Yeah, yeah, I just remember you nailing. I remember Rainy coming in, and before when everybody comes in, and right before we get to the scene, we'll talk for a while and try to get a little bit of the personality and see, you know, we like them as people. And uh, thirty minutes later, did I ever get yeah, I remember Rainy came in and we were did. talking. And she, had, we were laughing so hard mm -hmm. that at some point we realized, oh wait, we, she hasn't even acted. And we were like, like oh, we, oh, we, 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 we really she's good, and she was. Mm -hmm. I walked in, I literally said something because the audition for me was on a Saturday, which like never happens. It was like a Saturday at like nine a.m., which meant I had to get up at like seven to like prepare and get myself ready and when I walked in I literally was like you guys are lucky I shut up with shoes on I'm not even kidding and, they, and everyone started laughing and I was like oh that could have gone really wrong I was like, oh my god thank god they laughed I remember being like you guys are lucky I showed up like a Saturday really when I like to sleep in and then as I was thinking I was like well that really is Trish the character yeah, I really kind of nailed that one on the head right? you're like you're fired no way yeah wait wait wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Does anyone else in the cast remember a funny audition story? I remember watching my audition tape, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we watched oh. it. Three years after, because uh, the, our house director had it. And he was like, you guys have got to watch this. And it was the best, like, it was like, and we, we were singing to like, you. He sang a Justin Bieber song? Okay. No, that's <laughs> They asked me to Wait. sing it. They no, were like, I know, they but were like, sing. You, that's they were like, do you know that remember. song, Baby, by Justin Bieber? And I was like, uh, yeah, you kind of. They are like, sing it. And, then and I was like, Quibble. okay. But my favorite part of, like, Ross, Ross auditioning was, like, the point. Like, he'd be like, hey. I'm singing, I'm singing, hey, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you point it all the time. Yes, yeah, You were so like, tactic. baby, If baby. you are trying to audition Hollywood, just point at people. <laughs> they think you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember me and you auditioning? When they brought me and Caleb, they actually casted us three. Yeah, I was the last to be And cast. then they lasted. <laughs> they Again. Well, Again. Was that the theme? <laughs> yeah. But it was I like this theme. <laughs> This outside. This is an organic thing that just happened. Um, and in the audition room, they they were like, um, "Can you make up a, a dance for us?" And me and Cam were like, uh, "I'm sorry." And they're like, "Just a dance. Do something." And we're like, "Okay." So, so I remember pulling Cam over and being like, "Can you dance?" And he's like, "Describe dance." And I was like, "Okay." okay. Uh, can you can you do ballet? And he's like, "No." I'm like, "Great. Me neither. Let's do it." And I just remember us just like running through the room, just like... And it was beautiful. Just jumping. <laughs> <laughs> just us just going Kevin crazy. Was crying, Heath was crying, <laughs> Gary was crying, everyone was crying. <laughs> but, but before Caitlin was cast, um, it, was, it was Laura, Rainey, and I. Um, and Rainey and I got to read with Caitlin and another guy. Yeah. Um, nothing against another guy, obviously. He was a fantastic actor. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, he's but, here right now. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, brought him here it, but I got Rainey's number, yeah. and I was like, yo, the tall guy's going to get it. Yeah, we were like, we were like the tall redhead, yeah. funniest guy, right? Yeah. He was like 6'8", so they, they, he wasn't available in those two shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, Caleb, we had already heard maybe, I don't know how many people here read these things, 40 people, and it starts to not get funny after a while, and then he comes in, and he made it funny again. And we're like, whoa, he, how did he do As that? As he does with every episode. There he, here he Sitting here today. <laughs> He's like, who? Uh -huh. uh, now, I know that you can't give anything away, no spoilers, but are you each happy with how your character's journey wraps up? Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm super satisfied with how the show ends. Yeah. And when they told us as well before the script was ever written, um, I was like, that needs to happen. We just watched Whatever the season three finale. Whatever you gotta do, make finale. that happen. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. We watched the season three finale. We're in the room, and we're like, so, hey, Kevin Heath, how's the show gonna end? I guess I'm that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how she talks about it. That's how she talks about it. That's how she talks about it. And they told us, and it was like, I, like, teared up a little. I was yeah. like, that's so special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We knew what it was gonna be at the beginning of the season. We already, yeah. we knew. So. so make sure you watch it. Or yeah, it'll be, full yeah. Of, it'll be full of the feels, as the children say, but it'll be, <laughs> it'll be good. Oh, lots of crying. I cried. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, think it, I think it came out great. I think there's a lot of surprises in it still. Yeah, for sure. I think there's some Easter eggs like, for the what fans. What happens with Daz, I'm telling you. I'm wow. You guys got to watch it. I mean, that funeral. He dies. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the we, we, the, we, we thought about, uh, we thought about putting out a fake character breakdown as the captain, uh, yeah. just to try to throw fans off the set. <laughs> Spoiler! So, hopefully the funeral thing was a yeah. joke, but we need to talk about a little wedding yeah, that aired last night. Oh yeah, last night. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a good episode. That was a great that was episode. A good episode. Oh. I 
Well, then, because I just want everyone to know, I feel like people who haven't seen the episode, like, Austin and Allie didn't actually get married. No. Right. Like, no, we didn't. Right. Yeah. It's, no, it's, were, it's, yeah. Wait, what happened to us in that episode? It was a school No, project. I think 18 mm -hmm. is young for anyone to get married, to be quite <laughs> oh, honest. I thought, I thought you were going to be like, oh, they were doing something. And yeah, they were doing an experiment for school. They were. You better remember the question quick. This is going. I don't know where this is, is going. Are you guys talking about the same episode? <laughs> okay, right. Listen, I didn't watch last it last night. Last night's episode, last episode, last night's episode was the one where you guys got married in the classroom. Oh, and, right. Uh, and the cake. You delivered the cake. Right. That's an emu. Right. You were awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Emu, yes. That cake was so heavy, by the way. And it was really good. But it was and I didn't assignment, have to right? carry it yeah. that much. I like chipped in halfway through. I felt like Trish would help Allie carry the cake because I used to see Laura in one take, which they use in the show. She just because they falls. had to. Well. Yeah, because we only had one cake, and she just falls with the cake, and they're like, "Well, we're using that cake." <laughs> 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 and so then from then on, we have then on, I just was like an 80 pound look at these, look at these. And Laura's like 60 yeah. pounds. It's, like... it's pretty impressive that she could carry the cake. It was a lot. <laughs> I, yes. I helped a lot. Good job. Thank you, but it was good. good. Rainy helped good job. a lot. I helped a lot. <laughs> well, question for our EPs. Even though this was a fake wedding, yes. did you do that in a way to kind of serve the fans with something they may want to see in the future? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, getting her in a wedding dress and everything mm -hmm. would look great on the promos, and, and it did. Right. It did. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it definitely elevated the episode. I mean, we mm -hmm. it, we talked about them getting partnered together in a class where they have to do an assignment, and it makes them sort of ponder their future and mm -hmm. imagine themselves being married. And then uh, when we landed on the idea of taking it all the way, well, for the assignment, well, let's get dressed up like we're getting mm -hmm. married, and let's bake a cake. You know, and once we did that, we're like, oh, well, this is... I, I wish I had I can't, I can see the promo I now. Know. Right. Him Sunglasses. waiting at the fake altar right. for Allie. Where is she? And mm -hmm. her dress looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then cake also. All Covered in cake. Cake. <laughs> Lots of cake. Ben that Affleck and Jennifer take. Garner visited. That oh, yeah. Ben Affleck and Jennifer oh, Garner came oh, that week. Oh, that was really cool. That was so wow. cool. Yeah. Sweetest. Their and they're here now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, a fun, that was a fun take because, you know, yeah. Laura got a good fistful of cake and just... And then, yeah, and then, like, when, we, and then when we wrapped, yeah, when we wrapped, because when Caitlin was throwing the rice, it some of it actually got in my eye, and I was like, <laughs> and we laughed. And so I, yeah, and they laughed. <laughs> right. so yeah, they were like, can you do more of that rice thing? Yeah, they like more to rainy, just keep throwing it on rainy, and it just kept getting in my eye. I believe he was throwing so, pork fried rice. It was. It was. <laughs> and so when they called wrap, um, I just got a big fistful, and he was trying. I was like, Caitlin, and I just went, bam, like that, <laughs> just got all in his face, and then he. The same we love each other. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so, we had a, so we had it going on that we had to like shoot it in parts because obviously once you like put cake on someone, you kind of can't like unput it for like a long time. So. <laughs> right. Especially so, with the makeup and yeah, and the yeah. hair. And, and yeah. so I had so much cake on me. Like there wasn't that much on rainy. Like there was an obscene amount of cake on my body and fingers and face and everything. And so Ross is like, hey, hey, you got cake. And then we had to go to the other one. And I was like, oh, more cake. <laughs> she was very excited. She made that exact motion. I know. <laughs> I mean, and sound effects, right? Yeah, sound <laughs> effects. Okay, I have to ask, though, because the fans will kill me if I don't. The Aurora oh. shipping. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How Different than the <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's different. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> No. <laughs> it, it was, the, uh, listen, it was for the quick laugh and it worked. Come on, come on, come on. All right? Absolutely. Just going for the quick laughs, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Was that fun for you two, or did you kind of think that it was difficult to respond to that fan pressure or was it just all oh, part no. of it? Oh no, I honestly I don't blame them at all because mm -hmm. I would feel the same way if I was watching the show. And I, I was and watching I the show. How, I love how committed they are. Like they, mm -hmm. yeah, they, we have literally No, they mean the most... Roar like me and you. I, I, yes, oh, I, I thought, no, I thought you were talking about the characters for a second. No, 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 I'm saying... <laughs> I thought you were talking about the characters. I thought you were talking about Rainy and you for a second. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 actually, I'm... it was all about cost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I'm saying, like, we literally have the most passionate and committed fans in the world. Like, seriously, like, yeah. with the show, like, literally, that's how we got a really fourth season, it. honestly, mm -hmm. and I think, with our fans. And so, uh, Ross and I were like, I think that's really cool that they're so invested, like, in the show. And they're like, yeah. They're like, we love everyone. Yeah. So, I was, I was okay with it. Yeah. No, I thought it was cool. And Laura and I are so close anyway, so it, mm -hmm. honestly, it doesn't really, like, change our relationship at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, now, for the whole cast and creators, how did the fans really change your experience? Well, I, I mean, she just said it, but honestly, I do not believe we would have had a fourth season if the fans hadn't been so vocal mm -hmm. and passionate. Uh, woo! Yeah. Woo! Thank you. You guys are amazing. I don't think, um, 
they would be getting to see this awesome finale we have if, if they hadn't done that. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it makes you feel really good. And it, it's awesome to go on to uh, Twitter and, and mm -hmm. interact with them. And actually, you can see instantly what they're responding to um, and what they like. And that's something that we didn't have when we were doing right. Keenan Keller all that 20 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. That uh, instant feedback. But I, also, I was tweeting, but well, nobody was responding. Was 20 years <laughs> you guys are Twitter, actually. Yeah. 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 He had a pager, and he was just going, <laughs> right. Um, any favorite fan experiences that stick out to any of you? I feel like, Caleb, you have a funny one. Uh, yeah, they're always pretty awkward with me. Uh, I probably make them awkward. Probably. Um, I think the, my favorite fan memory actually was when we went to Disneyland after oh, the show yeah. first aired. Because we only had one episode out, and oh, yeah. we walked into Disneyland, and all, all of us went yeah. there with our families. And we walked in, and we got, like, mobbed by fans. And with only one episode airing, you don't really expect that kind of response. No. And we were like, guys, I think we're, like, famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that's, was, I think that's when we realized, like, oh, my gosh, this show, Disney Channel, like, this could be huge for us. I think after that, that was... I've got a funny mm -hmm. fan story. Pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, I, I'm driving down the freeway. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I actually oh. wasn't driving. I was in a car. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was in a car. And it was in Puerto Rico, actually. But this guy... And it wasn't a car. We're like, we're, we're like, pushing, like, we're like pushing 75, you know what I mean? Buggy. This guy rolls up to us, rolls down his window, and is like motioning me to roll down my window. And I'm like, what, what could he possibly want from me right now? So I'm like, okay. I'm a curious person. I rolled it down, and I was like, yeah? He's like, hey, can I get a picture of you, man? <laughs> Did you, did you pull over? Did you do did you it? I'm like, yo, we're on the freeway. <laughs> he was like, that's okay. Let's go. And, I was like, and so we just kept driving. <laughs> followed us all the way to wherever we were going. Uh, and then he's like, that's so amazing. And I'm like, I, of course he took the picture. Yeah. <laughs> How can I not? Because all this whole, he went through this whole process. Probably he's late for work now because it was early in the morning. <laughs> that man's been a picture Affleck. with me. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's, it's kind of a weird. It's like a. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. I loved your impression of him. That was my favorite. Person. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Now you're not getting a picture with you? What? <laughs> you're in the 1940s, he's a mobster I'm now? What the hell? <laughs> it's hard to interrupt. <laughs> I know. I like it, though. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah. no, no. Now. <laughs> it's all about you guys. You guys were talking so long, her phone had, like, locked. And she yeah. Like, <laughs> <"We're> not, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I could probably not ask one more question, and we would go over time, yeah. which is great. Uh, so you guys have all done really amazing things on Disney, other than Austin and Allie, too. I mean, Caleb, you wrote an episode. Rainy, you directed. Mm -hmm. You two have both been in um, DCOMs. What is your proudest? We wrote songs yeah, for the show, too. Yeah, you wrote music. Yeah. What's yeah, your proudest song accomplishment? Too. I'm sorry, say it again. What is your proudest accomplishment on the Disney Channel? On the Disney Channel. Caleb? Um, go ahead, Caleb. I would definitely say writing an episode of the show. Like, we have mm -hmm. the best writers and the best showrunners in the business. So oh, they writers. <laughs> writers. So to like be able to go to work every day and during that, that time and uh, learn from them was such an honor, and it was just such a great experience overall. It was really, really cool. Yeah, I agree. I think getting to direct an episode was amazing. Like Elam said, we have such uh, hilarious writers that to be able to bring their story to life for me and try something completely different was super awesome. I thank Disney and Heath and Kevin and pretty much everyone on our show for giving me that opportunity. It was spectacular. I'm really excited for the episode. I think it's going to be really great. So, woo! Awesome. We good? I mean, I, I guess we've both kind of had the same uh, opportunities Dang, with Disney Channel. Like, we've both done, obviously, what I Hans. call a hit show. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I would. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's very fair. We, we love to Kevin for clarification. I'd say, I'd say it's a success. Well, like, it is a hit. I would right? I mean, the same, so. um, I'd say being here right now is a success. We both got to do DCOMs. We both wrote songs mm -hmm. for the show. Mm -hmm. um, me, speaking to me personally, I think that it was a great opportunity. I had so much fun doing all of it. Um, and I'll always remember those days, or these days now, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just, it was so much fun. Yeah. I'll always miss these kids. Oh. Oh. Again, it's like. I'll get out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I agree with Ross. 
house with Caleb. <laughs> yeah. I no, I um no, I think it's been it's been so fun, and I know um, writing a song for the show was like so crazy important to me and cool. so cool. Like I was like really really excited, and I didn't like I was as usual. I was like so awkward about it with like everyone here. Like I was like so <laughs> this song. <laughs> I wrote. Yeah. And, and they're like, oh, yeah. They actually, like, already knew. They were like, oh, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, but I was, it was really such a cool thing for me. And it was also Ali's, like, first solo song. So I was like, this is so awesome. I was, it was a blast. That's a cool moment. It yeah. was a really, it was really cool. Yeah, it's cool to, like, to be something more than just, like, in front of the camera. Kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think also, if I can toot someone's horn, I think the song uh, Ross wrote too. Which was our Christmas episode. It's like one of it's our. It's a like, really good song. Oh, nice. It's so awesome. Me and Kevin know? wrote the butterfly song. And yeah! 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 I remember that. Woo! Anybody have a guitar? And Joey, you know, <laughs> Joey and Sam wrote. Yeah, and Joey and Sam. Oh, you know Joey the Boy Nato songs? All Joey and Sam. I mean. Yeah. All Joey and Sam. <laughs> so Boy funny. Boy <laughs> <laughs> Now what? <laughs> yeah, they're so catchy songs. <laughs> what's next for you guys? You've already done so much, but what's next on the cards? What can oh, you expect Caleb? from Caleb? Well, Go I backstage guess cry. Best right. song oh. ever. Uh, I'm running for the 2016 candidacy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of cool things I'm excited about that I'm, I'm working on next. Um, I, I can't really, it's, it's weird because like you're, you're kind of this yeah. in-between time between yeah. finishing this show and finding the next show. Uh, but hopefully something cool and hopefully to work with these people again. Yeah. 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 Agreed. I would love to keep I'm directing more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. Uh -huh. True. True. I can see that. Um, I, oh, thank you. I would love that. Oh my God, that'd be so amazing. Um, yeah, just to anything and everything really we've been on such an amazing show now that's giving us so many opportunities so, so to be able to kind of explore all of them and see where life takes us after this is kind of scary but awesome at the same time it's like graduating high school yeah. we're like going to college we don't know what college we're gonna pick yet but it's like high school where you like love everybody so much yeah. don't right? want to leave you can't wait to wake up to get there it's yeah. not like yeah you're the best like, teachers like, ever like, yeah, right. to college and, and yeah. that's actually what yeah. i learned from the show is that like the next show that i want to do I hope it's as amazing as this show, but really I just want to find a, another family like this because it means so much and that makes the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, everything's just more enjoyable. Absolutely. Yeah, like when you love the people really you work with. Day, yeah. 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 You're Absolutely. always having so much fun, really. And we get into oh. such crazy things as our characters because our characters are four best friends. So when they get into crazy things on TV that we have to portray as well, it's really funny to like get to play both of that yeah. and just sort of like, you know, get splattered by gunk and carry an 80 pound wedding cake and, you know, wear crazy costumes like the episode you saw, which was directed by our wonderful dialogue coach, LJ, by the way. Yeah. But as, as Amy said, this is a very exciting time in all of our lives, really, yeah. because we've come from this really good, you know, platform. Yeah, platform. I was looking for that word for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Um, for an hour? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but we came from this great platform, and now we have all these opportunities. Just Banana. Kind of. <laughs> what? Um, no, but yeah, we have all these great opportunities just coming to us. Um, well, not just coming to us. Obviously, we have to still look for jobs and stuff. <laughs> so but, if anyone's um, hiring, we're, yeah. uh, we're all looking. <laughs> yeah, we, we still audition and stuff. Of yeah. Um, no, but it's, it's just a really exciting time, and, like, I get to go on tour now. <laughs> Second record's coming out with our five so Team Beach 2 is coming out. Uh, so you yeah, think you're getting rid awesome. of us, but you're really not. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll Ross Lynch will be on your TV for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, how That's about you? Cool. Well, you know, I think what Ross and Marina were saying, especially is, you know, we're also seeing all these opportunities, but I also think, like, we kind of grew up on the show, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, if we had not as special of a set that we had, mm -hmm. I feel like we would somewhat be kind of different people because we were so influenced by not only the cast and the producers, but the crew and everyone there. And so I feel like for me, you know, I'm so excited to kind of move on because I feel like I've learned and grown so much because of such an amazing set and such amazing people. Like if it, if it wasn't that way, it, it, I wouldn't be the same person. And I think I would kind of be even more nervous, like 
going on and be like, ah, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, uh. Um, <laughs> there we go again. And I, think, and I, think with, I think with that is also uh, that we have like an amazing person like uh, LJ, who's our dialogue coach and also one of the directors of our show. She's been so amazing at helping us develop these characters and uh, yeah. the storytelling process in general that she's really been a huge, a huge part of the show. So. Absolutely. It's people like that. <laughs> Time is flying by, but now we can open um, up the panel to audience questions. So, raise... by the way, this is really cool. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. Awesome. yeah. Awesome. Really, really, like, thank Honestly. you so much to the Paley Center for doing oh. this for us. Yeah. Like, this is this is absolutely amazing. Like, it's like really he fun. said, when we were like, oh my, oh. God. oh my God, and there they are. Why are you all in your underwear? It's weird. We weren't nervous. See this? We weren't nervous. This is a good time to take uh, a Okay, so I will oh, yeah. call on you as you raise your hand, and then just make sure that you wait for the mic so we can hear your question. So, right here in the front. Yay. <laughs> oh, they bring a mic and everything. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I like what she was saying. What was your favorite episode and why? Oh, oh that's, that's the so hard. hard. We have yeah, like every episode. No, can I say that? I think I think one of the favorite episodes, like collectively, I think oh, real, oh, real, true, real, true, real is, life. is real, real life, life and real life, life. because yeah. we got to not only play our own characters that we've obviously been. playing The title's forever. a pun, so fun. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> but different genres that, that our characters got uh, to go through. You know, we were you were Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, we point. got to play like so many different things in one episode. Yeah, in, in 22 minutes. I think another collective that was really fun group episode was uh, Glee Clubs and Glory when that we all got to sing together. That was really fun too, because that was fun just to rehearse. We were in rehearsals every day for that big dance summer till like eight, and we wrapped at like two. So it was a lot, but it, it was, was so, so much fun. fun. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hello. I like to see my best friend, Laura Morales, right there. We have these twin moments sometimes. I thought I was your best friend. Uh, I mean, Laura, so. Laura, hello. It's. it's yeah, it's again. Kind of what? <laughs> we love you, Kayla. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. I love oh. you. <laughs> Caleb Ross tried to hug you. Um, <laughs> this is an everyday, by the way, on set. It's constant. Oh, hi. 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 I like your tie. You dressed up for the occasion. No, that's on a shirt. <laughs> really, I couldn't yeah. tell. Oh, I like it, though. It's really snazzy. Really like it. You guys aren't my heroes, so what's your heroes? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Hold on one second. Um. Uh. Oh, you, the tears are actually are real right now. You're awesome. Man. Um, You're pretty cool, man. <laughs> um. I'm not crying. Um. Um. I'm not crying. Um. Uh, I don't know why this question really emotionally affected us. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> really um. Uh, you are my hero for saying that. You for watching the show. For watching the show. No, you're all of our hero for watching the show. There. Oh God, we make the mm, oh, we make the show for kids like you. So thank you for saying that. Oh. <laughs> I <hate> this. <laughs> um, Next question. <laughs> make it a funny one. <laughs> Guys, what is your favorite thing about acting in general, and um, how did Austin Alley help you improve in acting? Mm. Uh, oh, a lot of things. Austin Alley was great because um, it's such a different style than and most things you act on. Like most things are single cam, and this is multi cam. So we really learned a lot about technical acting, about like blocking and about like key lighting and like cameras and all those things like that. Um, also about like well, it was, it was four years, so you kind of had to like create a character and then like work with the writing to kind of develop him and like just kind of like you know what I mean kind of yeah I don't think people realize how much goes how much work you guys actually do and and that's what well, amazing everyone to me. Did. everyone like, works like really a, hard no, yeah, yeah. But, but just in general like you think oh he's a good actor like he's he's delivering this line mm -hmm. well but it, but it just even thinking oh I'm standing here if I stand an inch closer this way I'm blocking her light if I'm looking an inch this way mm -hmm. the camera's not seeing my left eye and that so every take every minute of every day they, like they're multitasking Thank yeah you. And that, but that's what I'm it's very focused acting and then yeah. dealing with props on top of that shout yeah. out to Kayla yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know how Always have Des is like the king of props um, Jesus I also love having that like like we're, we're rehearsing or we're like we're, we're in the whole during the whole week and we're so excited to share something with 
the world or something that we've yeah. been working on a lot or like a, a moment that we know we're going to nail. And whether it's during a network run through or live a, a, a live audience yeah. show or when we, we watch you, when you, you guys watch it live on TV, we uh, are so excited. We're just so excited to share that secret with you guys. I think one of my favorite things about acting in general is just to like step into another world. Yeah, yeah. And to create your own create another character. reality kind of and to like. Yeah, it's definitely. Like, to have a different mindset. For sure. It's definitely it's taught me, like, cool. obviously for everybody, just more confidence in what you're doing. I mean, to play a crazy character like Trish, you know, who's just, like, sort of just loud and is not afraid to say what she, you know, she's thinking and just sort of, like, goes out there. And, and to be able to, like, have that confidence, that mentality to, like, be that character, that's something that I'll always take with me and that I learned, too, over the course. And then, like, for instance, like, their characters, they're, um, they're known to, like, sing and dance, and my character doesn't. So the times that I would get to sing... Those are the times that I was like, okay, I'm going to rewatch all of Ross and Laura's performances <laughs> and just learn how they do what they do and then just do that. And I think over time, that's like, what? confidence Great. was a big thing. You know, oh. like, and, and I even said that in season one, that like confidence was like a big thing for like singing, like performing, like being on stage. Like it's totally different when you're doing it one time live in front of everybody versus like 12 times, which is sometimes how many times we do a take, you know, in front of cameras and everything. So it's always different. Like confidence is something and just, you know, being funny in general, <laughs> you kind of hopefully hope that you learn over time. Yeah, and I think we also had such a great team around us to help us. Like, you know, it's sometimes it's people have asked me before, like, oh, do you not like to watch yourself on screen? And I'm like, well, when I watch myself, I'm not just watching myself. I'm watching not only like the cameras and mm -hmm. the lights, but I'm watching the team that has helped kind of develop the writing and acting there. So that's our director, that's our dialogue coach, that's our producers, that's our writers, that's the lighting, you know, cameras, everybody. Which was another people from Disney, that's like great, everyone. Which was not, such a great thing about Austin Alley was it felt like everyone kind of had your back. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes like as an actor you're kind of out there all by yourself and sometimes people might be a little scared to tell you that you know maybe that's not the best face to make or what whatever it is like maybe you don't look very convincing or you know what i mean and don't get me wrong like sometimes it's there's a lot of people there so sometimes it's yeah. confusing because yeah. sometimes like <laughs> sally's like be happy and like jim is like no be like slightly yeah. frustrated absolutely and then yeah. Yeah. So, jim, was like, nice. right. jim was always right <laughs> it's nice to, to like have that extra support yeah while you're acting <laughs> i wouldn't feel bad we'd be in front of a live audience and we'd go like Oh, here, try this new joke. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh. And we're just putting you guys out there. <laughs> but then, like, it went, like, no one, some of yeah, no one watches, that's jokes. Yeah, no one watches it, though, and goes, like, ooh, that was bad, right? And they go, like, ooh, uh, you know. Right. That's, yeah. like, that, yeah. that's actually one of my favorite moments yeah. when we do, like, a live audience yes. show. And Kevin and Keith run over, and they're, like, rolling, and we're, like, about to say action. And they run over, they're, like, oh, God, it's like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's a new ear, and we're, like, that's, a, that's genius. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. You, like, for that few seconds, you're like, I cannot wait to do this. I just hope I don't crack. Oh, yeah. One mm -hmm. of my favorite lines just ever throughout the whole series is um, the episode where Allie gets over stage fright, and she's having a moment with her mom, and her mom's like, you know, oh, what are you most yes. afraid of? And you think Allie's going to be like, oh, I'm afraid of, you know, going on to a stage. And she's like, that Des and Trish are going to get married, and that they're going to want to live with me. It's like, wait, <laughs> yeah. the, one of the funniest lines. And that did not happen until the live show yeah. back yeah. in. Like, it was oh, not was added in at the last second. The whole week. And that's another thing a sitcom teaches you, actually, is to memorize Back and learn is, lines yeah. Very on the spot. Fast. <laughs> like, I feel like our memories, our short-term memory right now is, is like, yeah. as good as it can get. Long-term, I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> short-term. Yeah, like, Rainy had to learn yeah. a really, really Oh, my gosh. You no, know, it, it really does come in handy. I had to learn all of Trish's jobs and recite them back oh, yeah. at one time, oh, like, gosh. in, like, one take kind of that. thing. And it was, like, I was in the makeup room. I was writing lines with our dialogue coach, LJ, and I was like, no, again, I didn't get it right. I missed the yo-yo cart. Again, from the top, from the top. And so we're, like, going over and over, like, right before the call action. I'm like, okay, Max Sword, Cup Sword, yo-yo cart. I'm like, no, wait, okay, hold on. It was crazy, but it was, once I, like, finally said it all, I was like, Woo! Gosh, <laughs> mark that on my list. Got it. Nailed that one. And you never wanted to do it again. Never wanted to do it again. I did it one time, and I was like, I hope the cameras were rolling for that one. I don't know how I'll be able to do it again. Um, straight ahead, right there. Yes. Okay, hi. Um, I'm kind of shaky right now because I love you guys so much. Aww, we love you. We love you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I love you guys too. Relax. I love you guys too. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> we get that I was just wondering, is there going to be any way we can take selfies after this? Because I really want to take oh, a sure, selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. For sure. Oh, you mean with them or just a selfie yourself? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I would. I would. Yeah, I would just like to say this is one of my favorite things ever, getting to like see fans right here in person because the 
instant like <laughs> laughs and reactions that you give to us, especially in our live audiences that we do, and when we hear your reactions about the episodes, are so satisfying because it's like because oh my our gosh. poor and also our poor like writers and like crew and has seen the same joke all week. So yeah. we actually yeah. shoot it. That we say the joke and like no one laughs and we're like yeah, <laughs> we're like awesome, great. But you know, I think also too I, because like I said, a lot of like our Austin Alley like crew members are here, like our writers are over there and LJ our dialogue coach and like Keith and Kevin are here, and so it's like. What's so amazing, I think, is they get to see all of their hard work right here. Like, because you guys are here and, like, laughing at, you know, the episodes and telling us your favorite moments, like, those are moments they wrote that they created. So this is one of my, I just have to say, this is, like, my favorite thing ever because uh -huh. they get to see all of their hard work paid off. Because not, you know, we get to see it every day when we get to meet you guys, you know, at airports or meet and greets or wherever we do. <laughs> and they don't because you don't know that those two right there created oh, Trish and Des. Austin you. In the blue, to my right. Oh, she's so cute. Um, <laughs> hi, guys. I've just got to say really quick, um, this is awesome. I'm in the same room with you guys. Aww, oh, that's so cool. Thank you. I mean, how much better could this get? Aww. Oh, I have a question for Rainy. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> Am I going to cry again? again? Uh, um, what's your favorite Trish job? Like, did you have Good a favorite? One. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Cheese cart, cheese cart, cheese cart. I know. I, have, I mean, probably... One of them. I have a lot of favorite Trish jobs, actually, because she yeah, goes through. She jobs. goes through so many. There's a couple that you guys haven't seen this season that are some of my favorites. Let's just say there's singing involved, and that was fun. Um, over the it top singing. It took me a second. Over the top like, singing, yeah. Well, I have to say one of them is that she's that she's out of my league. Um, that one for sure. <laughs> but, yeah. And I'm gonna tell you why. Every time, fun fact. So in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You guys gotta. Sorry, one of my one of my favorite moments from that episode, in particular, is is because of Russ. I feel like so in the cheese costume, it was like just a giant triangle block of cheese, and all I had was just like little armholes and like a head thing for my head to go in and out when I put it on. And so in one of the scenes, there's a part where Austin's trying to tell Allie something, and he can't tell her, so he's like looking for us for help. And so. In the script, it, it was written that Trish just like runs out in her costume, but it was so hard to run in the costume. And I was like, I, I don't know what else to do. It was like our, what, fourth episode? And really? I was like, I don't know what else to do. And Ross was like, oh, you know what would be so funny? If you just went in like a turtle and just went on the floor. And I was like, <laughs> genius. <laughs> and I pitched it and it made it into the episode. And it's one of my favorite moments. And that's why it's one of my favorite jobs because Woo! I'm literally. Yeah. Yeah. She's out of my league. Oh, that cheese costume. <laughs> um, right in front of her in the red shirt. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. hey, shout out. You flew from New York. I know. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sit down. Do it again. Get back up. I'm just kidding. So this is actually for all six of you. Um, you guys have a lot of crazy and, like, wacky and creative, like, Episode titles. If you could take the episode title and give it a new plot, what would it be? Like, oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. Um, gonna real life, some... real life. Austin goes to jail. Oh no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Um, it was I don't a know. joke. No, it was, of yeah. it was a joke. What would you guys do, Heath and Kevin? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a good question. Um, that's like a puzzle. I know. <laughs> I would call it. Season... I feel like that has happened before. <laughs> Summers and season five. Yeah. yeah. TV movie and Italy and England, or... <laughs> That's good! No, we have to, no, we have to have take an episode, episode and rewrite it. Oh. Oh. Um, the one that did you not yes. hear the question? Real life and real, um... real life and real lives. And in real life, we go to Italy and England. <laughs> Just the... And in real life, <laughs> we know that title things. works Laura, I really mean, well. Thank you. <laughs> You know, that's actually something we actually do after some table reads. We take, we change the whole. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. We've done that. Um. um oh wait, wait, the pilot is rockers and writers, right? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. All right, that's too difficult a question. So that's it. No, that's no. It. They they all have one. One. Yes, writers. I was gonna make one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kalem's a rocker. Rainy's the writer. Oh, and. Uh, 
and we're just like hanging out. And you're a oh, quirky best friend. You're the best friends who were there for comedic relief. There was an episode actually that was one of my like I love really that. fun moment in one when of our episodes where bodies. we all switched characters. Oh my gosh, yes. So um, John Paul was in that one. Yeah. John Paul Green. Oh, hey, where are you? Oh, he's not here. He's, he's watching on TV. Right hey, John Paul. He's a genius. I mean, he's, he's here. Upstairs. He's just not right. in the room with us right, right now. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the first one of the first episodes with him. Yeah, it was called um typewriters. No. Nope. Freaky friends freaky, and fans. Freaky friends fiction. and freak and right. Yeah, that's what, thank you. That's Aaron, did oh. you write that one? <laughs> yeah, that one was really that good. That was really fun. I don't remember any of the titles. I know. <laughs> it's, 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 there's a lot, there's like, been a lot of that? titles. I don't know. And guys, we did Singing 87 and... episodes. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I, how are we supposed to remember every plot I line? Know, seriously. <laughs> Um, obviously, rockers and right now. No. All right, let's get someone on this side. Um, about in the back with her hand way up. Straight ahead of me. Nope. Yep, you're looking at me. Yep, yep. Yes. <laughs> I wish I knew your names. <laughs> okay. Um, Hi. I don't want to talk. Oh, change your mind. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Hi. I love you so much. Oh, I'm shaking. I love you too. <laughs> what was your favorite scene that all four of you guys did together? Ooh. Oh. Um, well, I, don't ah. give, I don't want to give anything away, but there's some that we filmed that yeah. are coming up that are really good. That got us a little emotional. Yeah. Um, Kayla, I'm calling out you. Um, and a song was sung by one of us. It was no. Ed. <laughs> it wouldn't be me. It could be you. That narrows it down. <laughs> and it was that was pretty emotional really great yeah and also what happened was okay so let me explain so when we like when we um did it in front of the network we really got emotional like yeah. it was but then when we shot it the next day i don't know what happened or, there like, was just a know? lot of just laughter i laughter. Think it was just like that's what but do, it was guys. really, really no, no no you know what it was really emotional when we filmed it like the first like three takes and then they were like this is so cryptic i'm so yeah, sorry yeah like, when you guys watch it you'll understand but you won't because you won't see us laughing on camera. What? You'll see us being emotional. Um, yeah, there was a lot of laughter. Well, there was a lot of tears, and then they were like, bring the emotion back. It's not that sad. Bring it back. <laughs> and then we just couldn't stop laughing after that, and the entire <laughs> scene was just laughing. I know that really answered your question yeah. so well. But... <laughs> My favorite one It's a scene you haven't seen yet. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's really good. Mine is our first, uh, like in the pilot, uh, our first one scene all together. Yeah. That one was really fun. Or was even like... the dance when we do that episode, or that scene. Where we got Allie to like dance. Yeah. 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 That was good. And nope, and you guys have the dance down Oh my god. Yeah, that was, oh, yeah. And then that uh, was amazing. Mm, 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 yeah. Yeah. Favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite. The fish thing, and I real. You real. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. All right, we have time for one last question. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, right there in the orange. Yes. Oh my god, she's so cute. She's so cute. I like your braids. No cursing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What are your favorite songs? Our favorite songs? From, from Australia? <laughs> One of my favorites is Steal Your Heart. Yes, that's my favorite. Because recording it was such a good process. Like, uh, Dan and Alexi are like some of my buddies now. Like, he actually lives down the street from me. <laughs> so, um, so it was just like really friendly. We all had a good time, you know, and um, that's why I like that song a lot. I think I we were like five minutes late when you were recording that. And they were like, he's almost done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it was so smooth. Yeah. Well, I've now done like because of us. Now I have so much time in the studio, which is so I'm so thankful for because now I can just go and record a song in like an hour, which would usually take someone like three to four hours. I remember us really loving "Not a Love Song" in the beginning. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That was one of our yeah. favorites. I remember when I heard that. For yeah. The first time. I remember being like, "Oh, it's gonna be good." Yeah. I love the song Laura wrote. I'm finally me. Uh -huh. I love it that Trish got to make a parody of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I'm so much better than you, which I think is the exact <laughs> opposite of what the song is really about. I thought that was awesome. I really like this the mashup we did in Glee Clubs and Glory because yeah. it put all of the songs together in one, so that way we wouldn't have to choose a favorite song. I like the better than this song. Oh, that was uh, good one. Because and the was, rain. That was yeah, the rain. Ross was up till like like <laughs> one in the morning. Was, yeah. and, and you were sick. Sick. And, and you were sick. sick. Yeah. That's probably like one of the most like I was the most sick I've ever been in my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you had rain for Yeah, I know. And like, then it was like, like 11.30 and we were like, how's he doing? Like, the best. Bring in the rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The rain made me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> it was so satisfying. <laughs> I don't know why. It hit your tears, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> He's really um, sick. Let's pour water on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it, it was like, it felt so good. Like, I think that's what made me feel better. Yeah. 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 
Well, thank you so much, guys. Sorry we're out of time, but thanks for everyone. Thank you.